Shares of FedEx falling here in overtime, now down about 9%. After missing on both lines, lowering the full-year EPS and revenue guidance. Well, joining us now ahead of the conference call, Barclays analyst Brian Oglensky. Brandon, excuse me. Uh, Brandon, it's good to have you on. And that's exactly where I want to start, because it was a big miss on earnings per share. Uh, and they talked about in the release higher operating expenses or excuse me, negatively affected by mixed shift, which reduced demand for priority services, increased demand for deferred services and constrained yield growth. It reminded me a little bit about what we heard from UPS over the summer when they reported their earnings around pressure in the mixed shift shifting. And so I I'm curious how much of this is FedEx specific and how much of this is reflective of the broader market and the read through to the economy. Hey, Morgan, and thanks for having us on. And like, I, I agree, it's just not a great environment for a lot of the transports here. I mean, we're seeing some uh, import activity come into this country, uh, you know, via the ports. But on the express side, there's just not a lot of urgency or tightness in the supply chain. And I think we're seeing that in the evidence of FedEx and UPS results, as you alluded to this summer. I think specific to FedEx, though, the problem here is management has been committing to getting cost out of the system. But if we actually look at their non-fuel expenses, because you know fuel can be volatile, but those expenses actually came up as management tries to say in the same breath that actually you know we're committing to getting like two billion dollars of cost out of the system here. So I think that's the bigger issue and why we're seeing such a negative reaction in the stock. And Brandon, uh, last quarter um, the CEO talked about the challenging demand environment that they faced in fiscal 24, and now just a quarter later to start fiscal 25, they're bringing down the high end of guidance. So it makes me wonder: Have they done all they can to focus on what they control? Can control? Are they out of levers to pull? And is that perhaps why we see these costs rising? Well, you know, and I'm glad you brought up last quarter, too, because I think we were on here talking about it then. But, you know, it's been volatile for FedEx. I think three quarters ago it was down. It was up last quarter. Now we're getting a negative reaction again as the company just didn't hit on cost targets. But, John, I think you're hitting on a great point here. This company, I believe, and I've covered them for 18 years, just always optimistic on what the market can deliver. And I think they probably over forecast where growth rates would be in the market. I'm sure we're going to hear that on the call today. Let's adjust to the new reality. You know, we have to take down our top line expectations. But again, the problem is I think investors want to see more core action uh, on cost reduction. Let's not forget, they're also uh, you know, doing a strategic review of their freight LTL business. I don't know if we're going to get resolution on that today. They didn't make any mention of it in the release, but that could unlock a lot of value for shareholders here too.